Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tiff here. So today I decided to do a Whole Foods haul. The other day I went to Whole Foods and got a bunch of healthy snacks. And now I have to say I don't go to Whole Foods a whole lot. Just every so often I'll get the urge to go and try some new things. Um, because it's really, it can be expensive. That stuff adds up so fast. I swear, I look at my basket and I'm like, oh, this is about $20, $25 worth stuff. Yeah. Then I get to the register and they're like, oh, that'll be $70. And I'm like, what did I buy? So yeah, I try not to go there too often. Um, but the other day I was watching the Today Show and they had all these healthy snacks on there. So it made me kind of curious to sort of, you know, change up my healthy snack routine. I can be a bit boring. I'm a creature of habit and I like what I like. I like my apples and bananas and I swear I could just eat apples and bananas as snacks like forever. But I'm going to push myself and try some new things. So I got all these snacks and I'm going to try them, tell you how they taste and kind of review their nutrition facts and see if they're good or not, a good snack to even have. Um, just because it comes from Whole Foods does not mean it's just all healthy. I mean, well, it's healthy, but you know, it might not be the best for you. If you're like trying to lose weight or depending on what you're trying to do, it, it just might not be the best for you, even though it comes from Whole Foods. So I'll look at all the stuff and kind of see what's what and give you guys my opinion on it. So let's just go ahead and start. We have, Pizza flat snacks, and these are good. Okay, so the ingredients on these sprouted organic flax seeds, uh, sprouted organic sunflower seeds, sprouted organic sesame seeds. What and sprouted is really good because it just ha means it has more nutritional value to it. Basically, um, it has a lot more nutrients, more enzymes um, when you go through the sprouting process. So these are good in that. Okay. The nutrition fat, so about 22 pieces, which is a lot. It's 180 calories, which isn't bad. Has 13 grams of fat, but only one gram of that is saturated, so that's good. So you want your saturated fats to be low, uh, so it has lots of good, healthy fats. So just because it has 13 grams of fat doesn't, like, don't be scared. It's not <laughs> necessarily bad. It has lots of, it's a good, healthy fat source. And let's see, it has 10 grams of carbohydrates, which is not bad. It has five grams of fiber, which is really good. And five grams of protein, which is really good too for a snack. Most snacks don't have protein, so that's a good thing that has protein. And it only has one gram of sugar. Like, oh, they're cute. They're like little, they're like little circle thingies. Wow, this actually really does taste like pizza. These are good. I do like these. These are a definite yes. I like these. So next up, I have a the Chia Bar. This is from Health Warrior. And I've had these before, actually, and I do like these. I have not had this flavor, though. This is a dark chocolate cherry uh, flavor. It has, let's see, three grams of protein, four grams of fiber, 100 calories, and five grams of sugar. This is kind of what it looks like. So, these are good. I do like these. I'd be curious though to see what the sugar content is without the chocolate because you don't really need chocolate in a snack, you know. And it's just um, added sugar, which you don't really need, but it's only five grams, so it's not too terrible. And it has, what's it, four grams of fiber, which kind of counteracts the sugar. It prevents your blood sugar from spiking too rapidly, so. The amount of fiber in here is pretty good to combat the amount of sugar. And these are tasty. I do like these. I could snack on these quite a bit. Okay, these are a win. I like these. Okay, so keeping in line with chia seeds, I have this chia squeeze from Mama Chia. And let's see. So let's look at the statistics, the stats on this. Okay, so for one pouch, it has 70 calories, two grams of fat, um, which is, you know, your healthy fats from the chia seeds. And let's see, it has 10 grams of carbohydrates, seven grams of sugar, um, four grams of 
fiber, two grams of protein. So, I don't know, just kind of looking at the <coughs> stats on this, it has seven grams of sugar, um, which I'm assuming, let's see what the ingredients are. Probably just comes from like fruit juice, which is not really kind of what you want. So, so yeah, it comes from organic grape juice concentrate, organic blueberry puree, blackberry juice. So yeah, it has a lot of juice in it. So I don't know, I kind of stay away from juice in general. It's, uh, it's just sugar, processed sugar that you don't really need. Um, so I, I don't know, let's see what it tastes like. I don't know that I would have this very often though. Really, it's like really squishy, like um, almost like a like a Jello, maybe like a like a Jello that it hasn't gotten gelled yet. Yeah, like that, and it's warm, but it's good. It is really tasty. Um, I do like the flavor of it, so it's it's good. Um, I just probably would not have it very often, just because it has the juice in it. Um, I do like that it has. You know, fiber and um, good source of healthy fats with chia seeds, and you know, has a little bit of protein. But there's some other choices out there that'd be better than this. But it is tasty, so I mean, every now and then wouldn't be so bad. Okay, so next up we have Okra Spears, and um, I have to be honest, I am not a fan of okra that much. Um, I can have it when it's like mixed in with, like a whole bunch of other vegetables, but just by itself, I don't know. My husband was with me, he picked these up, so we'll see how these taste. So, wow, this is what they look like. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I usually see it all already chopped up when I buy it, like in a bag. Um, so it's different to look at it like this. All right, let's see what it tastes like. It's really crunchy. Not bad. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a different taste to it. After you know what you're eating and you could eat these for a little while, I, I mean, you've had them for a little bit, had one or two, you kind of get used to it. I could see myself eating these. These will probably be a good little snack to have. Very crunchy. All right, let's see what's in these. So they have, it's just okra, non-hydrogenated, canola oil, which just means no trans fat, uh, dextrin, sea salt, so very like minimal ingredients. It's good, it has a lot of flavor for the lack of ingredients <laughs> that it has. So that's good, it has one third of a cup, it's 130 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbohydrates, six grams of fiber, that's really high, that's good. Two grams of protein, um, only 40 milligrams of salt. That's good. I mean, because they, they have like a good salty taste, but they're not really high in so we don't. It's good. Okay, next up, I have these moms, what is it? Two moms in the raw, these guys. Um, so these are pesto sea crackers. And so they're 100% organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, kosher, raw, handmade. They're also wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and vegan. Let's see how these taste. minute for the flavor sort of kick in. And it, it kicks in. I don't know. Let me try it again. So these are okay. Very um seedy. Doesn't have <laughs> too much flavor. These might be a little bit hard to eat. Um <laughs> But they're very healthy. They are very good. Um, so for one serving of six grams has 30 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, zero that is saturated or trans fat, uh, two grams of carbs, which is really good if you're trying to watch your carbs. These would be excellent for those of you who are trying to have low carbs. I would totally suggest these. Even if they're not delicious, everything can be delicious, you know? So sometimes you just gotta suck it up and just, you just eat it because it's good for you. So next, I have 
some beef jerky. Now this is a brand I have not tried before. Um, now this is good because it's, um, well, it's gluten free, of course. It's so funny to me, like packages that put gluten free on stuff that's doesn't have any like grains in it. <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. But anyway, it's gluten free and it's also, but this is what's really good. It has um, beef, um, beef used raised. That's weird way to say that. Okay, so it has no added antibiotics, no added hormones, and no animal byproducts ever they say ever exclamation point so this is a good quality um beef jerky bigger. so here we go doesn't look very exercising but let's try it it's actually pretty tasty and i'm not really a big fan of beef jerky but this is kind of good it has a good flavor so that's really helps and it's not so tough where you're like feel like you're about to break a tooth chewing it or that it won't ever like dissolve in your mouth. That's horrible. This, this is does not do that. This is good. I do like this. Okay. So, okay, let's look at the stats. Yes, nutrition facts. One ounce has 80 grams, and one ounce is like it's not. So it, it's like a shot glass is an ounce. So if you can kind of imagine that. So 80 calories for one ounce, one gram of fat. That's really good. Only one gram of fat. Not bad. Um, nine grams of carbs. Uh, one gram of fiber, seven grams of sugar, which is a little, a little high. I kind of like to have like no sugar in my snacks if I can help it, um, or like minimal sugar. So seven grams is a little, a little bit high, but not too terrible. I mean, it has 11 grams of protein. So if you're looking for some added protein in your diet, this would be perfect for that. Okay, so yes, I do do their thumbs up. So. Last on my list is this bison bar. Mm -mm. I'm not even doing this. My husband picked this up, so I'm gonna let him <laughs> try these out. But if you look at it, it just, it does not look appetizing at all. Oh. And I am not one to, you know, shy away from something like just try it, but I really just, I'm not. I don't want to open this and then, you know, it's dried out and then he can't have it later and it's like gross or something later. So I'm just going to let him have this one. That's it. So thank you so much for watching this and hopefully um, I gave you some tips or some ideas of things that you could try in the future when you're trying to think about your healthy snacks. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye.